Hello, I was at a scientific conference in Texas, Lubbock, Texas. And what do you do when you go to Texas? Well, you go to a shooting range. So I went to outside open shooting range and uh, I wasn't very good at hitting the targets, but it was a lot of fun. Now, while I was trying to hit those targets using various guns, I was thinking, what is the effect of the Coriolis force on the bullets fired out of the gun? Is it maybe the Coriolis force and the Coriolis effect, namely the rotation of the earth, the reason I am not able to hit those targets over there? Let's solve this problem on the blackboard. You can see the text of the problem now on your screens. So in these types of problems, the best way to start is of course to sketch this. So let's say I'm here and target is somewhere here, T. The distance between us is this capital D that is given 20 meters and I fire this bullet that has velocity U. Because we are in the northern hemisphere, the Coriolis force will deviate this motion towards the right and instead of hitting the target, the bullet will end up over here and this distance, small d, is what we need to find. Well, this is uh, really not that difficult because we can write the second Newton's law for this bullet neglecting air resistance. So we have that mass times acceleration in the y direction. So let's say this is y direction and this is x direction. So deviation will be in the y direction is equal sum of all forces in the y direction. Well, the only force in the y direction here is the Coriolis force because gravity is acting in the vertical direction. There is no air resistance and there is nothing else. So mass of the bullet times acceleration in the y direction is equal uh, F uh, mass of the bullet times F times this U. With the negative sign because negative sign because this is west, this is east this is north, this is south. So uh, the deviation is towards the right and right is towards the south but positive y is towards the north. So of course this is the expression for the Coriolis acceleration or Coriolis force rather in the meridional, meridional direction. So masses cancel and A, acceleration in the y direction, can be written as dv dt is equal minus f times u. So I will integrate this now. So from here, notice that dv is equal minus f u dt. And I integrate this from time t equals zero, where the, where the v component is zero, to some time t, 
when the V component is, has some value V anywhere along this trajectory. That means that V as a function of time is equal minus F times velocity of the bullet U in the times T. Okay, but I'm not interested in V, I'm interested in this displacement D, but I can rewrite this as a derivative of displacement in the Y direction minus F U T. So uh, therefore dy is equal minus f u t dt and I integrate this again I start from t equals 0 when the bullet was fired and the y component was 0 and I go to time t now over here and the displacement is d this displacement that I'm interested in and uh, Therefore, d is equal minus f times u, solution of this, of this integral is t squared over 2. But the trouble here is that I don't know this time t. I know f, I know u, but I don't know time t. But what I do know is this distance, and I know this velocity u. So I know that u is this distance, capital D, divided by T. That's the basic formula for velocity, which means from here that T is equal D over U. And D is U, and D and U are known, so this T I plug in here, and the solution, therefore, is that this small displacement D is equal uh, minus f times u divided by 2 t squared d squared over u squared. So u and d squared cancels and I get that the displacement of the bullet is minus f d squared over 2 u. And this is indeed the result. You can see the higher the velocity, the smaller the displacement. But the longer the, the, the bullet is traveling, the larger displacement due to the rotation of the Earth because Coriolis effect has more time to act because it's proportional to the time squared. And of course, it's proportional to the Coriolis parameter. Uh, I didn't write it. Of course, Coriolis parameter is 2 omega sine phi, where omega is angular velocity of the Earth, approximately 7.3 times 10 to power negative 5, second minus 1, and phi is given. So if you plug in all these numbers over here, I believe, I don't have it now on top of my head, uh, I believe, so I see it here, that the displacement is approximately 0 0.06 millimeters. So the displacement of the bullet in the y direction is less than a millimeter. In fact, it is 0 0.06 millimeters. So there is no way that I was missing the targets because of the Coriolis effect. It was simply my lack of accuracy. Now I hope that you can recognize that we already kind of solved this problem. In one of my previous videos when we were investigating Similarly, a parcel of air that is traveling from Montreal to Toronto, we derived the same solution and I don't feel embarrassed to repeating it because I wanted to demonstrate that what Richard Feynman said, same equations give same solutions. So it doesn't matter if this is bullet going from here to here at some distance of 20 meters or parcel of air going from here to here, and the distance is uh, 100 kilometers or so, the physics is the same. Same equations give same solutions. Until next video, goodbye. Target has been destroyed. <laughs>